All right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Jessica Andrade and Claudia Gedalia. DC that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kick box and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. All right, so here she is, Bate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John, and she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Claudia Gadella! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batista Andrade. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? So round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well. Oh! Good right hand. Pretty good right hand. Punch there by Andrade. Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. DC is this boxing on Jessica Andrade. So loyal when it comes to her original head coach, Iyar Parana. And he has got to like what he sees out of his student here tonight. Nice. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Left hand punch to the clinch. Andrade gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy and a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow state to hang. Nice take down. And there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts finally gets her opponent down for the first time. Oh, Gedalia's looking for that arm triangle.
great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Gedalia's trying for the Kimura submission here. Just over two minutes now to go. 30 total strikes have now landed for Claudia Gadelli. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Good jab. Oh, man, that hurt to watch. Beautiful land by her with that hook. She wraps it around the guard and always finds her target. Gadelia gets in the clinch yet again. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Ooh, what a punch. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Cadelia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, she continues to stay busy, and no surprise, she continues to connect with the... Nice entry into the finish direct. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. Oh, Gedalia's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Full guard now, DC, and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Right? Move the half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grapple. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Here we go with our second five minutes. Round two, Jessica Andras and Claudia Gadelia. Nice punch by Gadelia. And just misses with that big right hand. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come down. Combination landed by Gedalia. Look at the turnover in that kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Andrade gets caught with that punch. Total strikes now, which have landed for Claudia Gadelli. And striking at a 63% clip tonight against Jessica Andrade. And they both stand up. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions. And Gedalia's looking for that arm triangle. Swollen, she continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Andrade. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it. She does a really good job of throwing punches to the tent. She never just throws, she throws every punch. It's meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Trying to double up on that jab. Back in the clinch now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, we told you off the top, her offense aggressive is off the charts. She gets another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns, and it's awesome to see. But at some point, she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. Oh, Gedalia's looking for that arm triangle now. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, and every movement has purpose. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Good punch, land. Just misses there with the left. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Gadelia's got the full mount. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's going for. Oh, she gives up a back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do? Tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands. Because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet. And if worse comes to worse, give up the mount. Right. Because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll you see if she can up, escape here. You go down as another take down the All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Great timing. Oh, she nailed the double leg takedown there. Pretty significant welt. 
to the left side. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Andrade. Yadelia's trying for a Kimura here. See if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Shot by her right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Well, as a play by play guy, I try to stay out of the prediction business, but I think we're going to see another takedown attempt. Oh, absolutely. You see it playing itself out over and over again. She enters, she gets the takedown, and she will not stop at any cost to get the fight to the floor. She's been successful, so why would she change it? And they separate. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight. Right, beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job of blocking up. Taken down here by Gadell. Well, this has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a... Gedalia's looking for that arm triangle. South position now, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hands, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defensive position but it's not impossible. There are many, many ways for you to get back up to your feet. Double leg takedown, stuffed. And they separate. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Punch on top. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Gedalia's back in half guard. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Lands a strike down from the bottom. Nice work there by Gedalia. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. Gedalia's now trying for the Kimura. The arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you back. Nicely done. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice punch. Back and forth we go here. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. All three judges scored this contest for 928.
the winner by unanimous decision, Claudia Gandela! Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed this, right? This goes to the maturity of her career. The fact that she is growing and growing and growing and can win a tough fight over an extended